basically what just happened was um, my recording stopped, so I cut, had to cut a bit off the end. It's just basically Rob using an escape rope, which which is cool. Um, so yeah, Rob uses an escape rope. He escapes from the from the Bell Sprout Tower. So yeah, and you have a lovely my brother singing to open the episode. So anyway, I'm gonna use Ember on this Rattata because that's what you do to Rattata. You burn them. Give them a burn. Give them a sideburn. Just joking. Um, don't do that. So we're gonna come up here, take the escape rope that we found. Very useful. We'll, we'll use that to get out of here. But anyway, what we have next seems to be the boss of this place. So, good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. And here goes. Duncan versus Sage Lee wants to battle. Sage Lee sent out Bellsprout. So, we've basically got this covered. Our shiny Growlithe can basically take that thing out. So, we're just gonna quickly use Ember on the Bellsprout. Yeah, that's super useful, isn't it? And the Bellsprout faints, so we gain a boost of XP from that. We are about to send out Hoot Hoot. We are mm, not going to switch our Pokemon because it's good, right? It's good how it is at the moment. Good, just good. Just probably just. Okay, so there's no PP left for that move. So we're just going to spam Ember on this Pokemon. It's the toughest Pokemon we've faced yet at level 10. And geez, it has a powerful attacks. Um, I'm going to quickly switch out to Pidgey since he will be able to take it out with his flying moves. Although Hoot Hoot is a flying Pokemon himself. So Foresight. To identify Pidgey, and then he used Gust. So I used Gust on Hoot Toot. Hoot Toot lost some health. So Tackle is going to take a bit of HP from us, as it always does, unless it unless it misses, of course. And basically, it just used Tackle again. So what's going to be next? I cannot help but predict that it will be another Bell Sprout. So Sparkle grew to level 10, luckily. I gained 61 XP. Pidgey, Pidgey is good. Is about to use Bellsprout. So we'll just send out a um Mr. Sparkles, our Growlithe over here. And we'll use it against the Bellsprout, which is level 7. Unlike the Hoot Hoot we faced earlier, although I may have cut oh no, I in fact I did cut out that battle. There was basically, there was a sage who called Troy who used a Hoot Hoot earlier on. So basically, we've just defeated the elder of this area, which is pretty nice. Sage Lee. Ah, excellent. I got 320 for winning and sent some to Mum. I cannot trust Mum with my money. She is going to spend it eventually. And so we received HM4, HMO5 Flash. Put HMO5 in the flash in the box. Okay, we need the badge from Violet City's gym. So we did it. But anyway, yeah, it was that guy down there. See the other sage apart from the elder? Yeah, it was him who did that. It was him who had the belt, the hoot hoot. But I'm just gonna go and find the escape rope and use it to get out of here. So round and round we go. We turn into a spinny circle. And out we come. So here we are back in Violet City. I haven't really explored this place with you guys yet, because, well, I may have actually, but basically it's got some good things in it. We're going to go try and capture a bell sprout to use in our battle against Faulkner, but in case you're wondering why I want to use the bell sprout, I just want to say it is because we need to go and get... There is something in this house which I want to show off after getting the bell sprout. So, we're going to just go up here and take a look inside the gym. So as you can see, bit 
not too shabby. It's got some nice music to it. We've got zero badges. We've got four Pokemon in our Pokedex, so not too bad. So we're going to actually get a Bellsprout first, or maybe not, because I'm sort of afraid to waste time. But okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure the gym won't be too hard without doing that, so I'm just going to buy a bunch of potions. So I'm going to buy about seven potions. And then I, I'm pretty sure um, Sparkles will be able to take them all on. I was going to go get an Onyx from a trader, and I'll, but I'll show that off in the next episode when I've had some time. So we're going to go speak to this guy. I don't think he's a trainer. Believe me, if you believe it. Okay, shut Okay, flying type. Okay, grass type is bad against flying. I get it. And so we have our first trainer in our first gym. And here goes up against Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper A wants to battle. So he sent out a Spearow, a Pokemon we have not encountered yet. Level 9. Not as power. Not as powerful as the one in the in the big tower, but as the hoot toot. But I don't think any of the trainers in here really have a hoot toot. Not that I'm sure of. So I'm just going to go and use bite against. Wow, this Spearow has good speed. So bite against the Spearow. Took it down to literally below one HP for goodness sake. Okay, taking out the Spearow used. That. So we got Bird Keeper Abe was defeated. So we sent some Poke Money to Mum, and we are going to just get some um, potions and heal up Sparkle since he is really our only hope against this godforsaken gym. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Oh, and I can see victory coming soon. The keyword is Gust. Okay. So we battle that trainer. That trainer gets battled. Birdkeeper Rod wants to battle. Birdkeeper Rod sent out Pidgey, the classic Pidgey. We all have the Pidgey that we know. Um, so I'm going to send out Sparkles with his lovely Sparkle again. And we are going to use an Ember on the Pidgey. So Pidgey dies quickly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a weird voice. So basically, Pidgey is going to go down very, very soon. After this fight, Pidgey will be down. There we go, Pidgey's dead. Sparkle's gained a lot of XP for all that, and he's about to use another Pidgey, so we're not going to change Pokemon. We're just going to keep Sparkles out for a bit while we do this. So we used Ember on Pidgey. Pidgey took a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage, a good bit of damage. We're actually a, a quite, a, yeah, it's, it's a lot of damage for goodness sake. Um, so Pidgey dies, and we are almost ready to go up. And I wonder if there's going to be another trainer. I'm not sure because I played the remake of the of this game, but I haven't played the, the like the other sort of thing. So anyway. Up we go, and there's a gym leader. There is a different trainer. I think it may be the gym leader. Um, so, here goes. Recovered 1 HP. And we are ready to fight the gym leader. Who else is ready? I'm ready by saving the game, and I am going to go in, in for this. And it will be pretty fun, I'm hoping. So, hello there, trainer. So, anyway, um, I thought that guy had walked up, but anyway. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can chip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I don't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. We come up against... Leader Faulkner wants to battle. He sent out a Pidgey. And wow, this Pidgey is a tough 
one, it seems like. But I'm figuring Sparkles will be able to take it on with his lovely Ember. So, there we go. We just used an Ember. It just took it out. So it used Mud Slap. Not too much of a big deal, except it's super effective. Oh, no! So we just take out Pidgey. Pidgey's dead. Um, so... Soon we'll have our chance to take out the gym leader's final Pokemon. Which is about to be a Pidgeotto! And it is a hacked Pidgeotto, for it is level 9. It is a level 9 Pidgeotto. If you look at my Pidgey, then you will see that my Pidgey is something else, is another level completely different. So Gust, it used Gust, and that was nasty. So use an Ember against the... Yep, and Pidgeotto was burned, so... Get burned, Pidgeotto. That was a good one. I am a good one. I am a good joke. I, I am a good joker guy. I am very good. Okay, Pidgeotto is taken out by my Sparkles Ember. We are proud of you, Sparkles. So that was the first gym leader. Not very impressive, actually. Alright, take this. This is the official Pokemon League set. That's cool, I got some money. Well done, I got... Okay, fair enough. I got TM31. I am excited. This is... This is so... This is special. The first gym. Okay, so, um... I'm going to just save. And I'll sign off just here, because it's around about the end of the episode, I would say. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, look at the glorious one badge, and I will see you all in the next episode.